Hi, my name is Vivian Gomes. I grew up in New Bedford, Massachusetts. I'm Cape Verdean descent, so my mom's from Cape Verde and my father's from Senegal, and I am a child and adolescent psychiatrist. I work with children and adolescents and also adults um, who have mental health issues. I work in a community mental health clinic um, in Washington, D.C., and I also work at a private practice in Bethesda, Maryland. So basically, I prescribe medicine for all these people suffering from various issues. And I also make sure that they don't have like physical issues that's causing the mental problems. Absolutely, I think anybody can pursue this field as long as the person you know, shows the interest in some type of science, no matter if it's biology, chemistry. Once you gain that foundation, you know, you could easily get into the field. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I was able to purchase a house within my first year of being an attending, child and adolescent psychiatrist. Also, I was going green, so I was able to purchase a Tesla. The salaries are endless. As much as work you want to put into it, you can make anywhere from 110000 to as much as like $400,000 per year. So ever since I was a student at Kearney Academy, we were exposed to career fairs. So since I was always interested in science and felt like I was good at it, you know, it just sparked my interest. Being at New Bedford High School, we were luckily exposed to Upward Bound program, which really encourages every student to be college bound. After exploring different colleges and universities in high school, I applied to Clark Atlanta University. What I majored in was um, allied health. It takes you to like various backgrounds of medicine, so you just wasn't a biology major or just a chemistry major. While I was in college, um, we did interns through um, the Center Disease Control and different um, community clinics. Once I gained that exposure, and graduated with my bachelor's in allied health, I moved to California. So when I got to California, I was actually interested in forensics and mortuary science. So I was in a graduate program. I did like the whole anatomy on and practicing on cadavers, so basically dead people. We would, you know, cut them up and, you know, find out the reason why they passed away. I did that for a little bit. It was a little morbid. I kind of came back to life per se and wanted to actually study life. Then I moved to Washington, D.C. to finish grad school and switched my major to chemistry. Like I had about two to three professors that um, saw that I had this passion for science. They're the ones who actually encouraged me and exposed me to medical school. You had to study for an exam to actually get you into to med school but my scores were pretty average. I basically took the alternative route through the guidance of one of my professors who encouraged me to apply to medical school in the Caribbean. After grad school, I applied to medical school in the Caribbean and lived in the Caribbean for three years. But what the United States requires is that you have clinical experience in the United States hospitals. So this is something else I learned along the way. I had the opportunity to work at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. I worked at Cook County in the heart of Chicago. So from there, I was fortunate enough to get into Michigan State University for my adult psychiatry um, residency. Became board certified in adult psychiatry and neurology. Because I still had a passion to know just a little bit more and go a little further, I specialized in children and adolescent psychiatry and neurology. There were definitely like several points in time because it was a non-traditional route of um, pursuing medicine that I questioned like, am I, am I doing the right thing? Like how many more exams am I gonna have to take? You know, you're just reminded that, you know, if this is something that you really love to do, that you can overcome anything. So the biggest advice that I can give to youth to achieve their dreams and success is to basically just ask questions. What is it like in these fields? What is it like to be in that particular career? And then if you don't have that specific person that you feel comfortable with asking, just Google it or just go online and just research, type in a few words like science careers 
or math careers, there's endless of opportunities and things that you'll find. And then as soon as you know that you're interested in, you know, whether it be science or math, it's just sticking with it. No matter how tough it gets, no matter what your grades are, you just stick with it and just keep working at it because eventually you're gonna be able to pursue whatever it is that you wanna do. 